This is Simon from Grants Kid Done Lawn Care. I hope y'all having a good Wednesday afternoon. Well, evening now, but anyway. Just figured I'd come on here and do a quick, you know, product review. I did that a couple days ago. If you go and check out my last video on my first time use of the Copperhead 0.95 line. And um, tell, tell me what's your go-to trimmer line. Um, pretty much right now I'm in the phase with my business being that this is my second year. That's, you know, getting ready to go into the fall season. But I'm in the process now, I would say, just figuring out my niche of what equipment and what accessories and stuff that I personally going to use myself in my business that I won't have that head-stretching moment when I'm standing in a store saying, you know, exactly, you know, what do I want to purchase? You know, what style blade, what name brand blade or whatever, because at the end of the day, you know, everybody's product is made to, to get a job done. So it's just your personal preference and how you use and maintain your equipment on how well that accessory or how, how well that product works for you. But anyway, um, I wanted to start off by saying the only style blade that I was running so far in the two years that I've had this more was the actual Skag name brand blade. Um, as you can see right here, this is a Skag motion blade from a 48 inch. This is a Skag, um, I guess you would call it low lift. I don't know the terms, so don't don't eat me up too bad in the um, comments. And this is a high lift blade. This blade I use, literally, I probably got eight cuts out of it. And it's so sandy around my area that this is exactly how bad it was. And the lowest that I cut really on most of my properties is two inches. You know, all my clients either want their yards cut low because it grows fast or they just, you know, they want it low because they think that looks best. So two inches is about the lowest I go on the majority of my properties. There is some that I go down a little bit lower. I go down to probably about maybe an inch and a quarter because, you know, the grass in that particular property, it just, it was a, a house that's in a field. So imagine the years of fertilization and everything on that property that that grass and everything still has to, you know, use to its advantage. So all it takes is rain. And it's, it's, I cut it today, matter of fact, and by, I'm sure, Saturday, when it rains again, it's going to be back up like I never touched it. But anyway, that's another story for another day. I'll drop some video footage of that at the end of this. But anyway... This is the same blade, another Highland blade. I just got maybe, I would say about 12 or 14 cuts out of this one compared to this one. I really don't know why this one eroded much faster than this one, which has been put through pretty much the same properties, the same properties, and this is how they look. And this one has more cuts on it than this one. So, these are my, like I said, again, the low lift blades. I got pretty much all the life out of these. So, um, some people will probably try to sharpen that and it's not really gonna do too good because I've sharpened it and I just finally just sat it aside because once I started cutting with them, it only took one yard and they were dull and I was, you know, pretty much having a double, almost triple cut. But anyway, this is, like I said, the Skag brand of blades. Skag high lift blade, and this is a Skag motion kit. I don't know where the, I don't think the Skag is on the back of this one. But anyway, I've always just ran Skag blades on the mower because you know that's that's how, what I that's what the name brand of the mower is, and that's what I just use. But anyway, I went to a tractor store, Aggie South here in in my um, in my area in South Carolina, in Florence, South Carolina. It's a store called Aggie South. I've seen videos of these, but I ended up going and getting the Oregon style blades this time as a replacement blade for my mower instead. And I use, like I said, I use them for the first time today, and I am very impressed. This is a brand new one that I use that I haven't used yet. Sorry, these are the ones from today. I cut a couple properties today, and that's the edge that's still on there. You know, a few nicks because, you know, that yard's gonna have, you know, things in them, but 
is from today and I did a couple of properties today sandy properties at that because here you know a lot of my properties are sandy you just can't help it but um I am very amazed at the cut um like I said these once I cut a little bit more with them this season and with this season I'm getting ready to eventually come to an end because you know summer's on the decline um these may be my go-to um blades um Everybody has, like I said, their own preference on what equipment they use. And, you know, I've had comments on, you know, when I'm posting for, you know, what kind of edger brand I want or strength trimmer. And everybody has, you know, they're throwing out ideas. But I'm at the point now where everybody's opinion and ideas, as long as it's in a positive way, I appreciate them. But right now, I think I'm in the the way of more so finding out what again equipment and what accessories work best for my setup my location and how you know I'm trying to you know make sure I keep my business running smoothly and like I said not going to a store and you know getting that you know head scratching moment where you're like man I don't know what I want or can you tell me about this? Can you tell me about that? Once you get into the groove, and I'm sure the senior, the seasoned guys on here probably would agree. Once you get into the groove of what works for you, that's probably what you stick to. That's like, you know, unleaded gas. I'll use that as an example. You know, that's the that's about the go to is gas that's out there. And you know, some people are gonna say, well, get you know the next one up or get the, the top top of the line gas because it does this for me and it does that for me well you know with changing what you know gas you get right you know, rather than regular premium the cost is going to go up and you got to look at you know affordability and you know what you can afford instead of trying to keep up with what somebody's you know trying to i guess tell you that works best for them everybody has something that works best for them but anyway just wanted to drop this video. I don't want to, you know, get on a soapbox about that. Just, you know, do, do what's best for you. Find your comfort zone. Find, you know, equipment that works for you. That way, once you find out for sure, you know, hey, this has really been working for me. And once I say, you know, hey, it's time for me to pick up some new equipment or whatever, I know exactly when I can walk in the store and say, hey, you know, I want this, I want that, you know, you know exactly what equipment has been doing great for you because, you know, there's going to be bigger and better to everything out there, but you got to stay within your price range. Don't go trying to, you know, keep up with the Joneses, keep up with what you can comfortably afford. And as time goes by, yes, you can, you know, go out and, and get something bigger and better or, or you know step up to the next top of the line you know piece of accessory or equipment but right now like i said my personal thing is being that this is my second year getting ready to go into my third year in business i'm going to figure out what works for me so when i go to the store when i need a repair done i know what i want to ask for when i go in there and walk in and out of a store you know Knowing that what I bought is going to work good for me and my business once I get out there in the field with it. But anyway, I'm going to drop some clips at the end of this video showing you my first cut with the Oregon blades on my skag. Like I said, I may have used them before. I don't, I don't know. I never really paid attention to brands of blades until I got into the, the lawn care field. But anyway, y'all have a good Wednesday. I'm going to drop those clips. Leave your comments in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, please just help my channel grow. I appreciate everyone that's been showing support. There's so many of y'all that's been in my inbox on Instagram and comments on here showing love and support, and I really appreciate that. But anyway, catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace out.